The following program contains disturbing material. Viewer discretion is advised. In December 1989, after 25 years of dictatorship, Nikolai Ceausescu was overthrown and executed. Left behind are tens of thousands of abandoned children, the byproduct of Ceausescu's inhumane attempt to increase Romania's population. Many of these children will be channeled into Romania's most deplorable institutions, warehouses for the sick and handicapped. As the torrents of change have swept through Eastern Europe, they have uncovered one of the grimmest side effects of the Ceausescu era. Romania's abandoned children begins and ends in the most remote villages. What looks quaint and beautiful on the surface is really a life of poverty. The average family here earns less than $25 per month. Often there is not enough food to eat, not enough wood to heat the tiny homes during the harsh Romanian winter. Indoor plumbing and telephones are unheard of. It is poor Romanian villages like this one which have become the source of unwanted children. On the edge of town, a mother is giving up her daughter. The little girl, named Anna Maria, will soon belong to the state. The mother works, and she's got a younger child of eight months now, who she's breastfeeding at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, Anna Maria was not walking, and was lying on the bed all the day, and mm -hmm. crying, and difficult to feed. And I think they felt they couldn't cope. Um, Asha, I first um, prayer difficile, went through tine, um, because she's working and she's got the younger child. Possible, super, um, um, buy a make, no man in Kataich, possible to do Anna Maria La Casa. is not a unique one in Romania. For 17 years, Romanian state policy was designed to create more children. <laughs> Under Ceausescu, birth control and abortion were outlawed. Couples with less than five children were taxed heavily. These measures have resulted in children like Anna Maria children who've been handed back to the state. Today, Romanian institutions for children are overflowing with more than 120,000 children. For many of these babies, things will only get worse. In the Romanian system, children will be sorted out according to health. At age three, children who appear healthy are sent on to a new orphanage 
where they would attend school and later learn a trade. These are the lucky ones. But for this little girl, the story will be much different. Children with handicaps or who suffer from sickness or malnutrition will be separated out. In the Romanian system, these children 